Win your share of 5 million rand. Get a home loan and get one entry. Open a Nedbank account, move your salary and you get another 10 entries. Simply dial star 120 star 762 hash to enter. Make things happen. Nedbank. So most of us will stay in our current homes for a number of years before thinking of selling and looking for something new. In the time we spend in our home, we're looking for ways to increase the value so that when the time comes to sell, we get the most out of the transaction. We're joined again by Tim Akinusi, Head of Sales and Client Management at NetBank Home Loans. Welcome back to The Loft, Tim. Thank you, Wani. So Tim, what changes or upgrades can homeowners make to their homes to benefit the resale value? Funny, there are quite a few changes that one can make and um, I'll start off by saying that when they think about home improvements and enhancements, think about it from an investment standpoint and rather than it being a cost. Because when you upgrade your place, you should be looking at what sort of return you can get into the future. So that starts with things like as basic as when something is about to break or isn't working well, rather repair it because the cost of replacing the entire item is actually a lot higher. Mm. And then secondly, start looking at the functional areas of your house and look at how you are maintaining it and look, in, and look at how effective it is in terms of its um, operation. Yeah. And when you, when you start to engage with anything to do with your house, always look at future trends. So you, you can rely on things like um, upgrading your geezer to a solar. You can rely on things like um, improving your energy efficient lights. Mm -hmm. And just those basic things will help improve the value yeah. of the house in the long term. Uh, is there a systemic way of working through it? Because perhaps the temptation is to just do it all at once. Absolutely, but the reality is that things um, do take time and things are costly. So you really do want to do it um, in phases and as and, as and when you see it, um, going wrong or as and when you feel like something needs to be upgraded, rather do it and not uh, let things pile up. Because like anything in life, if you let it pile up, it gets a lot more complex and certainly a lot more expensive. Yeah. And some other particular changes or upgrades people can make that eventually actually compromise the value of the home? It's a good question, Barney, because sometimes it's often not what you do, it's what you don't do. So when you don't invest in functional areas such as your bathroom upgrades or your kitchen, then you will be compromising on the value of your house. But to your question specifically, if you take something like a spare bedroom and you turn it into a single purpose area that cannot be converted in the future, then you limit its um, multi-purpose nature. So you need to make sure that uh, you keep things as classic and as standard as possible. Um, and in that way, you, you end up uh, with a house that can transform mm. and can continue to enhanced value in future. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. So make sure that your home is in tip-top shape when planning to sell in order for you to get the most out of the sale. Make the things that really matter happen with Nedbank. For more information, visit www.nedbank.co.za forward slash home loans. Win your share of 5 million rand. Get a home loan and get one entry. Open a Nedbank account, move your salary, and you'll get another 10 entries. Simply dial star 120 star 762 hash to enter. Make things happen. Nedbank.